Hello, I'm Emily Liska, and we're back with the Jacksonville History Show. And here with me is president of the Jacksonville Historical Society, Jerry Spinks. And Jerry uh, has a very important announcement to make. Hello, Jerry, and welcome. Hey, thank you, Emily. It's very and good to be here. It is good to have you. And in, in fact, the announcement sort of slipped out uh, in, in a few days ago. Great press but, conference. But this is uh, still a very big announcement and very timely that the Jacksonville Historical Society, and then I'll, I'll let you say it, what, we're, what <laughs> we plan to do, you say it. Emily, as you and I both have <laughs> said, worse than I am. <laughs> this is a chance of a lifetime for an organization, for this 80-year-old organization. We are taking, the, to celebrate our 80th year, we are purchasing old, old St. Luke's Hospital and the Florida Casket Company for a center of historical study and activities. And that indeed, and this is a National Register site, at least the old St. Luke's Hospital, if, and maybe you'll show that, dating to 1878. This building was built uh, really to uh, have a place to take care of ailing tourists who were uh, visiting and vacationing, we call it wintering in those days, wintering yes. in Jacksonville, Florida, when Jacksonville, Florida indeed was the tourist uh, wintertime destination of the nation. And we did not have a hospital, and this is uh, really Jacksonville's first hospital of any note. Uh, there were clinics of types before that, but most people in those days, if they were ill, the doctor came to their home. Well, the ladies that formed this great mm -hmm. building, which now looks like this. The overall site. This is the overall site currently. The ladies that formed this did so in order to support that great tourist industry because there wasn't any place for the tourists to right. go. And they were very formidable. They were burnt out three times before this structure actually burnt, brought to town. Well, there was a fire after the first one, uh, after the building was constructed. And then when you see in the distance, almost adjoining the old St. Luke's, you see what is known as the 1882 Florida Casket Factory. And of course, you get a little laugh sometimes when you know that the hospital is right next door to a casket making factory but uh, these two buildings now vacant will afford the Jacksonville Historical Society a great opportunity. Oh absolutely. Uh, there will be exhibits, there will be a research center for the general public to study local history and the uh, Southern Genealogist Exchange uh, they will partner with the Jacksonville Absolutely. Historical Society. So genealogy research and local history research all in one location. Uh, now you've got another photo. I've got some photos here, Emily. This is a uh, photo of the second floor of the hospital. As you can see, it's in beautiful restored condition, ready to be operated. The Arth Arthritis Foundation of Florida took over the building after Congressman Bennett mm -hmm. and others were instrumental in rescuing it and restoring it in the late 80s. This is the floor where our, we were tentative planning for our archives to go. And then the floor below it, which is in this shot mm -hmm. right here, is the area in which, uh, in which we will have museum-like exhibits and a real upgrade for ourselves. We are going to have our bookstore, our retail store that will be, have books, gifts, mm -hmm and home archival supplies. And, and that's, you can really see that that was certainly an old hospital by the layout. It was, so in the dead center, the nurses could watch what was happening in all the surrounding Absolutely. rooms. Uh, and now we're looking at the beautiful, uh, either front porch or rear porch, they're almost uh, the west, copies. We call it the west porch. It, that's okay, the Overlooking west porch. Overlooking beautiful Hogan's Creek. Oh, Okay, which is the creek that stopped the fire and yes, kept look, the building from burning absolutely. down. Absolutely. It's very, very poignant. Uh, Herschel Shepard helped uh, Congressman Bennett and several other folks that formed Old St. Luke's Restoration in the 80s to restore this building. So we have a really great debt to him, to the congressman for this. So I think it's very fitting that we are putting in and growing our archives and other activities in these two buildings. Uh, let me ask you, if I get a phone call when I'm back at my office at the Jacksonville Historical Society tomorrow, I'm getting all the words in, and somebody says, I want to help. I want to help raise the money to secure old St. Andrews for this research center. Uh, you know, what can they do? How can they help? Well, they're going to uh, basically 
we'll be glad to show them the building, show them our story, and then we'll be taking donations uh, of any size for the various areas to support the areas. Mm -hmm. We're looking at a first phase of our fundraising, which will be approximately 650000 That'll help us purchase things. Ultimately, we're trying, it's a $5 million campaign in order to secure the proper equipment to run the archives and the other programs we'll have in the building and to properly restore the casket factory and equip the uh, hospital. And I may have called Old St. Luke's Old St. Andrews, but that's okay because let me just point out, we are currently at the National Register site a block away, right. Old St. Andrews. That's our headquarters now. And next door to that, the, the Merrill House, the James Merrill Museum House. And we're not going to abandon those sites. Th those are sites that we will continue on with the programs and activities there. But this would be a serious research center, like most major metropolitan Absolutely. areas have, uh, for the research and uh, a repository for local history as well. You have to have a place to, to put all these right. wonderful objects and all the, the photographs, all the journals, the diaries, the treasures of our city's history. and. What's happening currently needs well, to be archived as that well. That is part of the big opportunity that we really have because we're tending to the we're tending history and what you're looking at right now, by okay. the way, as I pontificate here, is the upper floor of the casket factory. By the way, it's the Florida Casket Company, mm -hmm. but that's five thousand square feet of what be, will, will become exhibit space. And one of the functions of all of this is that we are looking at what the society would like to collect 50 years from now. And if through this whole program we can show the community how to take care of the important stuff, that stuff will still exist. So when we really are growing our archives, it's both present and future. And the programs that we'll have in here and the way we'll encourage the whole city to take care of their material will really assemble the information that people can study the city, its history, and all its great citizens. So if you had one thing you could tell the public to help us with this project, what would you say? <laughs> really, oh, holding I, your feet to the fire, I'm my, sorry. I, my, it's a great place for your feet to be because it causes you to really think. <laughs> I think that not only do we want people to take care of their stuff, we're very proud that we've got this opportunity to expand our program so that we can help the community really appreciate their history. What they can do for this project is literally help us purchase it, help us get the funds to become a real concentrated spot for the study of history. We are literally exploring the opportunity to have interns from Jacksonville University that will intern here when history majors want to become hands-on museum folks. We are going to complement the kinds of history exhibits that are mosh because we have different audiences with different kind of exhibits. This is such a great way of putting so much material for the public to have in one spot and that's a whole goal. And it is and of course other universities such as University of North Florida are participating as well so we we really do have public support on this and I want to thank you, thank all the visitors, all the viewers and uh, until next time, we're history. Catch us on www.jackshistory.com. Thanks. Thank you, Jerry.